This is problem number one for assessment number seven. In this problem, they say use the graph of y equals f of x to write a piecewise defined formula for f. Write each piece in slope intercept form. And we can clearly see that this is a piecewise function. We've got a gap in the middle, so we have a jump discontinuity. And uh, the first thing we want to do is we want to say f of x equals, because we got two pieces, we're going to have two equations here. So I'll put two lines there for the equations, and we want to define uh, the domains for each. So what's the domain here? The domain, it can be from negative 4 to 0, but it says not including 0. So I'm going to say negative 4 less than or equal to x, which is less than 0. This other one then goes from 0 to 8. And it includes both, 0 and 8. So I say 0 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 8. So once I, def once I get the domains uh, figured out, now I can actually write the equations for the, for the function. Now they're both lines. So because they're lines, we know we're going to use slope-intercept form, SIF, which is y equals mx plus b. Well, I can either take the two coordinates, find the slope using like y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, right, the slope, the slope formula, or I can just count. So I'm going to go up 1, 2, 3 over 1, 2, 3, 4. So my slope is, first of all, it's positive. I identify that it's positive, and I get 3 over 4, so it's 3 over 4 x, and my y-intercept I can see is 3, so plus 3. I don't have to say y equals in here because it says f of x equals. It's a piecewise function. My slope for the second one's negative, and it's down 1. Well, it's down 5. This is at 5, right? So it's down 5, and then over 8. So this one is going to be negative sloped 5 over 8 x, and my y-intercept for that one is 5. And now I have written the equations for the uh, piecewise function and identified the domains.